Today is October 24th, 2023, 35 minutes past the hour. Now, I have been reviewing these charts after the closing bell. And what I've noticed is that, what I've noticed is that um, when I look at it, the day represents a few opportunities, uh, maximum value opportunity, and if it actually moves in the right direction, there is a slighter, slight less, less magnitude in the direction that it goes into, but still, that continuation is essentially not a single point, but it's actually a broad spectrum of opportunities that occurs. So one in particular is, one opportunity is bouncing off the VWAP or bouncing off of support or bouncing off of resistance. So when those things occur, I can look at it, take advantage of it, and trade based on that specific scenario. And if, and if that bounce actually has occurred already, okay, has occurred already to a certain amount, then that window of opportunity is still there for that trade to occur. Because the, the apex of that particular trade is a single point. And when that single point broadens out to uh, the evolution of that particular sequence of setups that forms, then the entry point can occur such as, for example, if a strong trend day occurs, it doesn't matter if it started an hour ago, it's still a strong trend day. And so getting in and taking that trend, whatever is left over, is still sufficient to provide a sufficient amount of gain for the trade. And therefore, what I can do is I can look for it, and if I'm a little late, it's okay, because the strength of that particular trend can continue. So what I can do is instead of just jumping in based on the price, I can look at the particular uh, respect that the, that the stock has, the stock has within certain uh, infrastructure, the skeletal or the, uh, the, the architectural uh, things that are, that are essentially wrapping the movements of the stock. When I look at those infrastructure areas where it is supporting the movements of the stock, then I can use those critical points to make my trades within the day. And when I looked at, when I analyzed these, these, uh, these, these post close after the after the stock has been uh, the the market has closed, and I look at it, there are legitimate areas of respectability, respect that the that the stock gives, and it behaves in a predictable manner. So I can take advantage of that. I can utilize that to say on a statistical basis. When it reaches this point and behaves in a certain way, then it's going to behave likewise at a higher, uh, higher statistical uh, number than when it is essentially a minor area of interest where the stock moves freely above and beyond, uh, irrespect of that particular uh, interest, such as you know maybe the 20-day moving average or whatever that the sequence is or maybe maybe there is a maybe there is a uh, previous days low previous days high but the way that the stock is moving it has its own area of specific resistance supports that is beyond those specific areas of uh, the previous days high previous low or previous days close and so so those things can be used intraday 
to use as a landmark, to use as a specific point of uh, interest to, to conclude, to make, a, to make a thesis based on that particular event uh, forming around that particular area and, and, and the stock behaving a certain way that gives clues to the substance in that particular structure being respected.